What's going down, Fight Fans? This is Fan here at NWFightScene.com. We're sitting here at the Midtown Throwdown 3. I'm sitting here with Jason Gray, Team Chaos Fighter, debut fighter, and now he's got one win under his belt. Um, he's got a verbal tap by Kamora at 208 in round one. Um, and I'm telling you what, this was a unique win, uh, <laughs> unique to me because, you, man, you slammed this guy over and over, and you, he just kept getting stuck in that Kimura um, over and over. Um, it, it, it was amazing to me because you kept slamming him and slamming him in powerful moves. Um, and, and obviously it was no unique to any of your team members because um, you were an all-star wrestler. Um, talk about that and your wrestling history. Yeah, um, for sure. Uh, I've been just been wrestling since I was in third grade. Uh, all the way up until last year, um, I wrestled for Highland Community College, second junior college nationals last year, and uh, just pretty much moved down here with my dad. Well, I'm going to be moving down here pretty soon. Um, just to get into MMA, can't really get paid for you know collegiate wrestling, so I want to try to go pro in MMA someday. And now, um, what, how, did, how did you? What was your feel? Your first feeling in wrestling? Or, I mean, in MMA tonight? Uh, you know, um, I was all amped up and pretty jacked uh, walking out to you know my song and in the cage. Once I got in the cage. Uh, a little nervous, but I knew I had to take care of business, you know, that's how to do it, man. So. Now um, you train with Team Chaos um, in Salem, Oregon. Um, a lot of good guys there, a lot of great training there. Um, talk about your training there, the people there, and um, what, what you think of that. Um, you know, uh, got a lot of good coaches at Denver. Uh, he's our jiu-jitsu coach and just all around uh, for everything kind of coach. And then uh, got Daryl, he's our boxing coach, and he's been helping me a lot with my hands since my hands are pretty weak when I first came into the sport. So, uh, Getting pretty good at that, and uh, Chris also, you know, the one of the promoters for this fight, just so many of those three, and uh, that's about it. The less the coaches. Now, um, what are your um, aspirations for uh, mixed martial arts? Um, you know, I want to kind of work my way up slowly, um, get an amateur pro one day, so, uh, within the next year hopefully, uh, turn pro, and make it to the UFC. You know, that's that's the goal, man. Awesome. Um, now, what did, what were your um, feelings? You know, there's a lot of good guys here tonight, a lot of things, a lot of fans. Um, what did you think of the event here? I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't really expect it to be this big. Um, it really got me a lot, you know, fired up. I couldn't, you know, they want to let my family members down that came to watch and support me. So I had to really put on a show, you know, slams. That's, that's the goal tonight, to get the slams and get the Kamara. Awesome, brother. Hey, well, um, thank you for taking the time to talk to NWFightScene.com. Um, anybody you'd like to thank? Any fans, any sponsors, anybody out there? I'd like to thank uh, my fans for you know, support me, my coaches for sure, for helping me out with everything. And then my dad uh, a lot just for the motivation and keep me focused in wrestling and fighting. So, yeah. awesome. awesome. Hey, well, Spaniard, NWFightScene.com, Jason Gray, and uh, thank you, everybody. Midtown Throwdown 3 here in Eugene, Oregon. Thank you.